Advanced stage diastolic heart failure presents as breathlessness, even at rest. There are over 2 million patients at an advanced stage diastolic heart failure in the United States, Canada, and Europe, and they're solely reliant on ineffective therapeutics. The core problem is elevated cardiac pressures due to stiff heart. Pump and Heart has developed a tiny pump that is implanted in the heart in a cath lab procedure and that draws just enough blood during the resting phase of the cardiac cycle to ease congestion. Allowing these patients to breathe freely again so that they return home with the device implanted to lead active, long and fulfilling lives. The pioneering pump in heart technology offers me the prospect of treating and discharging the most challenging diastolic heart failure patients. And this is something I would look forward to very much. This system combines three technological innovations. An ECG gated heart pump that reduces left atrial pressure in diastole, a subdermal rechargeable power monitoring and control unit, and a minimally invasive transcatheter delivery system for cath lab implementation. A half a million euro grant from Enterprise Ireland through its commercialization fund to RCSI supported for the initial award-winning preclinical research. And in all tests, early prototypes consistently lowered left atrial pressure by between two and three times the targeted pressure reduction a very substantive proof of the mechanism of action. Pump and Heart has an exclusive license to this intellectual property and a patent application is making good progress towards IP protection. Our research concludes that this device will address a massive unmet medical need and diastolic heart failure patients are elderly so entitled to free medical care provided by national healthcare systems. Thus, if a treatment is available and represents value for money, it will be prescribed. The frequent hospitalization of advanced diastolic heart failure patients is approaching a hundred billion dollar burden on healthcare systems. The cath lab implantation and the associated ubiquity of cath labs, the availability of interventional cardiologists, the short post-op recovery periods. And a reimbursement rate of $50,000 will make the device attractive to healthcare systems and payers alike. Thus, Pump and Heart's serviceable addressable market is $32 billion. This presents an exciting opportunity for Spark investors that can invest up to 1.5 million euro in exchange for up to 30% of common equity in Pump and Heart Limited. The pre-money valuation of 3 million euro is underpinned by expected progress to first in human clinical research trials in 2026 and likely acquisition interest from heart valve, shunt and pump manufacturers. And so we see returns of more than 10x as possible within five years. My own background is in cardiothoracic surgery, and I am a senior lecturer and a principal investigator with the Tissue Engineering Research Group at RCSI. I have a biomedical engineering background, and prior to Pump and Heart, was Vice President, Research and Development of Structural Heart at Boston Scientific. I have spent over 30 years in product development, taking transcatheter, implantable cardiology devices from concept through to global market commercialization. I joined the team from a postdoc research position at RCSI, where I designed and built a rig to test early prototypes before progressing the device through ex vivo and then in vivo animal trials. I am CEO of Pump and Heart and previously co-founded an edtech business focused on the telco sector and managed that business for 20 years. A few years ago, I pivoted to medtech and in 2022, joined the RCSI device research team to establish Pump and Heart. We are a highly experienced management team with a great mix of world-class expertise in clinical research, engineering and business development. By 2030, United States heart failure costs are expected to be at least $70 billion per year, with the greatest economic burden due to hospitalizations. Data from Canada, the United Kingdom and the European Union show similar trends. Our miniaturized implantable pump addresses the core problem by reducing the left atrial pressure in the heart during the resting phase of the cardiac cycle, and that will allow ambulatory but advanced stage diastolic heart failure patients survive and return home. We have won numerous startup awards and half a million euro in grant support from Enterprise Ireland. First in human trial success in 2026, would put Pump and Heart on the acquisition radar of established cardiac device players like Boston Scientific and Johnson & Johnson in the post-2027 timeframe. A trade sale exit would likely generate greater than 10x returns for Spark investors. Pump and Heart is an EIS 
qualifying company with a 50% rebate. This means a 1,000 euro investment only costs the investor a net amount of 500 euro. The minimum investment is 100 euro and investors pay no commission. This is an exclusive opportunity for Spark investors to invest in a highly scalable medtech company with an outstanding multi-PhD management team addressing a critical unmet need and with global market potential.